Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, I'm George Levy. In this video, I'm gonna be actually talking to you about how I go buy groceries and I pay using Bitcoin. It's actually easier than you think. And in this video, I'll tell you all about it. So I'm just about to walk out the door to go grocery shopping and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna pay today using Bitcoin. And I figured it'd be a great opportunity to share with you how I do that because it's actually a lot easier than you think. Now you may have seen other videos that I've posted where actually when I go traveling around the world, I go to different places and I actually use my Bitcoin wallet and I pay in Bitcoin. For example, I have a video where I actually go to Esperamos, it's a supermarket, it's actually in Curacao, and I pay in Bitcoin. It's very convenient because I didn't have any guilders, which is the local currency. But when I pay in Bitcoin, it says Bitcoin to Bitcoin. But how can I pay in Bitcoin here in the US, especially in a place that doesn't take Bitcoin as a normal form of payment? And the secret to that is actually using a debit card that actually lets me pay in Bitcoin. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is my Coinbase Visa debit card. And uh, this Coinbase Visa debit card is actually connected to my Coinbase account where I keep some Bitcoins. I don't keep all of my Bitcoins. I actually keep some Bitcoins in my cryptocurrency exchange but the brunt of it I take offline into cold storage where it's safer. You see, nobody can hack me there. Now, Coinbase is actually a very secure platform and I highly encourage people to do that. The only reason I'm telling you this is because if I have some Bitcoins in my Coinbase account and I have my debit card, I can actually use a debit card just like I would use a debit card in any bank. I can have a Visa debit card and I can pay any place that takes Visa. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping today and I'm gonna pay using my Visa debit card, but it's connected to my Bitcoin account in Coinbase. So I'm actually going to be paying in Bitcoin at my supermarket, but my supermarket is going to be getting paid via Visa in dollars. It happens seamlessly. The other cool thing about having one of these debit cards is that I can go to any ATM and I can actually withdraw US dollars from my Bitcoin account. It's immediately converted from Bitcoins into dollars and I can retrieve my money in any ATM around the world. So the lesson I want to point out to you is that if you're interested and you love the world of Bitcoin, one of the big things that you could do is actually, if you have an account, for example, in Coinbase, which offers a debit card, you can actually pay anywhere that actually takes Visa, but you'll be paying using your Bitcoin balance. You know, all I want to point out to you is that using cryptocurrencies is a lot easier than most people think. People think there's a lot of barriers, but once you understand how to use crypto, you get to use your cryptocurrency wallet. You understand which places will take your cryptocurrency payments. And if not, you could just pay using your Visa debit card anywhere that actually takes your Visa. It's also very, very practical. So some people would prefer not to keep their money in fiat currency like dollars, euros, or yen. Many times what you do is you keep it in a cryptocurrency, for example, in Bitcoin, and don't keep it inside a cryptocurrency exchange. You can keep it in an offline wallet, like a hardware wallet. But that's another video for this. So I was just doing all this and I want to do a quick, quick video to let you know because I have some grocery shopping to do right now and I'm actually going to be paying with my Visa Coinbase debit card so that I can actually pay in Bitcoins, but the uh, supermarket won't even care. And I'm letting you know that so that you know that this is an option that you can take in case you ever want to be able to use your cryptocurrency. You don't always have to change your Bitcoins into dollars. You could just keep some of your Bitcoins in Bitcoins. And if you need access to them, you have a Visa card that you can go anywhere and you can pay for things. Very, very practical to do. So I hope you found this lesson valuable. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to hit subscribe. I bring brand new videos every single week on topics. So this topic today was very, very brief. Sometimes I bring you a lot deeper lessons and it's very valuable. So I encourage you to hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. Additionally, I'm gonna leave some very valuable links, including Coinbase, with a very special offer in the description below. And I hope you found this video valuable. And as I always say, we're changing the world one blockchain at a time.